Hi, I'm Joanne Newton. I'm the Head of Partnerships and Business Development for the British Council in Southern Africa. Hi, I'm Yolanda Puklini. I'm the Project Officer in the English Programs Department in British Council South Africa. When COVID lockdown began and we were sitting and thinking, how can we reach teachers and parents, caregivers and learners during this time? We had this idea um, to put the LEAP materials onto um, WhatsApp because it was the easiest to access during COVID um, at the time because who doesn't have a cell phone, right? And we found Turn.io, which is a chatbot um, developer. Uh, they work with social impact organizations and we built a chatbot. Uh, so the delivery of all the lessons and the stories and songs is automated. So the teacher, parent or caregiver uh, goes through a series of menus to download the most relevant thing for their lesson or their uh, home study session with their child. Yeah. Um, all of the lessons are linked to the DBE workbooks in South Africa by week uh, and they're all supported by a teacher's guide. Yeah. Um, so we started off with South Africa but then we had interest from other countries in Southern Africa. So just to add to what Joe is saying, we got traction from other SADC countries and we mapped the, the audio lessons to the relevant country's curriculum. And to onboard the users in the different countries, we posted quite a few Facebook ads uh, and that drove different users. Uh, we had the highest amount of users from Zimbabwe, but also substantial users from Lesotho, uh, and Botswana uh, as well. South Africa is still our biggest user, uh, which is where yeah. the project has stemmed from. So currently we're sitting at 46,000 plus users on, on the chatbot. The response has been fantastic especially in low-resourced um, rural areas. Now that people have gone back to school, the teachers are using LEAP in a new way. So they're using the mobile phone in the classroom, they're using the audio files by sending them home to parents. I think it's much appreciated by the Department of Basic Education, our partner in the project as well, as seen as a solution that can really make a difference immediately in the classroom. I've opened WhatsApp and then I will type the message hi to the phone number. Once I do that, I'm now in the chatbot. I get a welcome menu and I can choose the country that I want to uh, go into. So once I type ZA, I get the South Africa menu. In South Africa, we offer songs, stories, lessons, and it's actually offered in 17 African languages, supporting the five countries that the chatbot are in. So then I get to a menu for grade R. So I'm teaching grade three today. So I type grade three. I'll be looking for lesson 15. Lesson 15 is the current lesson that I'm supposed to use according to my government issued workbook. So on the menu, it says type 3.28 for lesson 15. So I'm typing in the code. The audio lesson is instantly delivered. My learners will open up the DBE workbook to the correct page. I'll open up my teacher's guide to the correct page and I'll play the audio on my phone. First additional language, grade three, term three, lesson 15. In this lesson, the topic of focus is the fun fair. I might also want to use the story function with my learners. So I type in the word story and I'll be given a menu of 17 African languages I can choose from. So I'm going to choose Isizulu, yes. number two on our menu. And I'll have the choice of three books. Each book can be delivered to me 
in both English and Isi Zulu and has accompanying English and Isi Zulu audio. The books are from our partners at African Storybook Initiative. So I would like the book Little Frog. So I can type in the frog emoji or I can write the word frog. I can open the book on my phone to show my learners or if I have the technology I can show it on a projector or even print it if I would like. I can also play the audio along so for teachers who aren't so familiar with the language it can really help. And if I want to have a little bit of fun there is a song menu and I can choose from a number of fun songs from the British Council. For example, if I want to choose the song Can a Flea Climb a Tree, I type tree or put the tree emoji in and I have a fun song in English I can play with my learners uh, at any time with an accompanying worksheet as well with the lyrics. So that's how easy and simple it is. A few touches of a button, a little bit of data, and the WhatsApp app. I am Sipoka Zimbanga. I am a grade three teacher. I am from a school that is Kosa medium school, but then it teaches English as a first additional language. We have about 620 learners, and these learners come from low income houses. LEAP is a very easy and it's as accessible. Firstly, it is here on my smartphone. And another thing is that it's easier for all the teachers as well, not just me, but all the teachers to be able to access it. LEAP provides us with um, stories. It provides us with um, lesson plans. And another thing is that it is a great um, resource when it comes to us teaching phonics, because now the words are there and we have a great way of being taught how to pronounce them. The lessons are linked to the DBE books, which are the Department of Basic Education workbooks that our learners use from grade R up until grade seven. So I use it in the grade three class. So as teachers, we don't feel comfortable when it comes to teaching English first additional language because it's not my mother tongue. Now imagine I have to come up with the song and the rhythm to the song to teach the learners. And the only way that I can teach is if I'm confident as a teacher. If there's a part where I have to teach a rhyme, what do I do? I just connect to a song that I might need and then I connect to the speaker and I let the lady sing. We call her Lala in my class. So Lala sings and then the children sing with her. It also supports us when it comes to teaching the mother tongue. It does offer things in Isikosa as well, but not only Isikosa, it, it has Isizulu, Isiswadi, so all the African languages that we have, which is a great thing because for the only thing that our kids can master English first additional language is if, if they master um, mother tongue. So it's much easier for us as teachers to plan with it. I mean, you don't even have to plan. You just go there, you, you find out what it is that you should be teaching, and then the lesson plan is just there for you to go through with it. So LIB has made it easier for us to be able to tackle English and make sure that our learners, by the end of grade seven, they are mastering the language.